Hey everybody. So, the SCP Foundation is a fictional secret organization. Its presence primarily maintained through an online wiki, which has become increasingly well known in mainstream popularity in the past few years. The SCP Foundation's fictional responsibility is the acquisition, identification, and perpetual confinement of objects, entities, and phenomena whose behaviors fall outside the realm of normal reality. In essence, they take weird things and keep them locked up. Now, you may be wondering, what does this have to do with anything? Who are you? What are you doing on the Sad Adam YouTube channel? Well, today, the ST team, that's short for Sad Team Team, by the way, takes on the challenge of creating their own SCP objects to wildly varying degrees of success. Will they be able to contain them, or will their own creations spell their destruction? Well, I don't know, I'm just the narrator. Here we go. Recording's going, everyone say hi. Fuck you. Hello. Hi. I just hit something. Money on Arthur's head there is. Give me a pose that you want for the, the intro. We're gonna do a different one, make sure that you're not doing the same pose. Offer. <laughs> Three, Three, two, one. I wasn't print screening, was I? <laughs> Give it back to the original pose. <laughs> Three. Shit. Oh, would it be better if I... Here, just, just for the minute. <laughs> the <f> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Arthur, you look like I just started insulting someone on Rocket League to get off your address. Sorry, Tyler's just not even in the frame. Tyler's off the screen. Karen's going to be doing the intro for oh, us. Sure, so everyone, everyone say thank you to Karen. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Kieran. Thank you, Kieran. Thank you, Kieran. Just like to say, I won this. <laughs> the future me, you're welcome. I won this for you. Don't, yeah, don't, sure you did. Yeah. What is Jace? Jacob is going to win. And what are we going to do then? End of the channel. I'm the selling my channel burned. to him. He can have my YouTube channel if he wins. <laughs> Honestly, the world will fucking I, I, implode. Yeah, I have time to go to Why are you like shopping for kids on the black web? <laughs> nah, what do you mean, Chris? Wait He's trying to find the third key. Wrong oh, yeah. He's looking at naked people. He's, Every uh, second we're not doing the video is another precious megabyte of my storage. Sure, um, right. Adam? Yeah, Holmes? The thing is three pages long. I don't think I can fit in that in five minutes. Three pages? <laughs> Wait, oh, I, 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 does anyone want to offer to go first, or do I have to pick someone out like a fucking second? I will. Mine is pretty long, so should I go in the beginning or the end? <laughs> How about we just work our way down the list like this? I have to think about how I'm gonna speech it. Done. SCP-45265-BJ, BJ stands for blowjob, <laughs> is a, uh, it's a tape that you could put into any recorder or cassette player, and it'll start insulting you based on who you are. So depending on who you are, <laughs> it'll start insulting you based on the things that would piss you off the most. Now, this was found in uh, Bin Laden's cave, <laughs> and it is theorized that he oh, yeah, used that this during the streams, the live streams that he did on the TV sites. <laughs> now, we have an X from it. Junior researcher Brandon Pyle, who uh, recently got divorced, <laughs> was, was ordered to put the tape in. This is what the tape said. Guess what, your wife Miranda? I fucked her. They call me the wife fucker. I fucked Miranda. Miranda's been cheating on you for years. Miranda's been cheating on you for years. At this point, the tape then caught on fire. E774777 was asked to put the tape in. E774777 had recently been in a car accident. <laughs> Daiko's not gonna cover your car accident. You fucking idiot. Daiko's not gonna cover your car accident, you fucking idiot. Should've gotten Daiko. Should've gotten Daiko, you fucking idiot. I fucked your wife. I fucked your wife, E77477. One last man. 
put in the uh put in the tape. That was Arthur. <laughs> fuck! Hey kid, hey kid, fuck you, you fucking idiot. I fucking hate you, kid. You fucking bad. I fucked your wife. I left some nuts and bolts in your bed. I left some cigarettes in your bed. I stole all your cigarettes and then I fucked your wife. Then I stole more cigarettes. Your pants? Why have your pants been missing? I stole them. They had crayon skids in your pants. You had brown crayon skids in your pants. Oh. You idiot. You idiot. I stole your pants. I stole your fucking pants. I'm gonna fucking have sex with your wife? And then I'm gonna take apart your car, and I'm gonna sell your <laughs> car. There's one last bit, and it's noticed, um, with all three people that tried this, they immediately, uh, had to go into therapy sessions because they were insulted so hard, and, uh, Arthur never found his pants, which is interesting. Fantastic, thank you, Chris. Oh, also, we got a divorce with his wife. Pretty good. Are we, are we all ready? This is the next one. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't know we could take pictures, but I drew one. Anyway, so this is SCP-11567324. I totally didn't just think of that number on the spot. Anyways, the vanishing cucumber. So this SCP is highly dangerous, as you can tell from the photo. Pretty scary. They appear like any normal cucumber. However, this species is highly intelligent and is known to simply disappear. Here. If a person does manage to get a scrumptious bite out of one, it may as well be their last. Upon being bit into, a, vanish cu er, a vanishing cucumber will release a high-pitched squeal that is deadly enough to kill a hundred men. That's one thing. Football, 1998. <laughs> 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 Scream oh. from the pits of hell. How do you tell the difference between a vanishing cucumber and a regular cucumber? All you have to do is find the heaviest earphones you can find and poke it with a stick. <laughs> if it's simple, simply disappears or squeals and run as fast as you can. If neither occurs, you're welcome to enjoy your cucumber. If you stumble upon it, you should immediately relocate it to a jar of pickles so it ages and loses its vanishing powers. Bada bing, bada boom. I don't like cucumbers. I think we should burn the fucking lot of them. If you try to eat it, it will squeal, but if you try to burn it alive, it just won't do anything. It'll just sit yeah. there being like- It just takes it. The, the only known containment also, method is fire. Black retinas? Like what? <laughs> Dude, it's just wilding out, man. I think that's an artistic interpretation. It and is. Then you're looking sure. too it's far into it. Abstract. Yeah. Jacob. Serious. Oh, oh bother. Hit. Right. Okay. Let, let's let's do this. Jesus Abs fucking Christ. What is that? Thing? I was serious. <laughs> SCP-666. It's just a number. Don't get afraid. Here you go. There's a dragon. <laughs> My notes don't mean shit anymore because apparently I had to be a comic. Um, <laughs> oh, he's, he's gone drunk again. He's gone rogue. <laughs> the alcohol. <laughs> this is the maledict. In Latin, the word maledict is for the doomed or the cursed. Melinda's dick. Right. Maledict in my ass. Right, Ryan's on my team. Anything that makes you laugh is <laughs> point for me. Anybody that stares at the skeleton face will be cursed with the loss of their penis or, in my <laughs> case, just the loss of talking to any woman. I'm just going to be the Chris. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm, I'm getting nervous. flashbacks to the, the presentation video. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You hear this crunch? Is that you drinking the two liter Coke? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> to win this, this uh, whole video thing idea, it's not about being funny. Go Sometimes what? maybe oh. being funny isn't the, the most yeah. What so do we win? Nothing. My I left testicle on ice. Off. What do you want? Four dollars. Oh, no. It's become the president of Venezuela. Like, damn it! I'll buy it for a high price. <laughs> Fifty on, grand then. for your oh, balls. Let's, let's... It's a very dangerous creature. It is older than time itself, and older than my geography teacher because she's old. Wrinkly bitch. Oh, that's all I have. You yeah. should have done an SCP of your geography teacher. <laughs> you should. Oh, have done. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. 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 Miss Smith failed me. I fucking hate you, Miss Smith. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone, look away from your screen, real quick. Everyone, look away. Look up. Look up. Look up. Look up. Look up. Not that interesting. <gasps> okay. All right. Ready. Okay. I think everyone knows the Google Chrome Dino, right? The one where you don't have any internet, right? And then you have to like play that game. You can jump, whatever. And I now present you SCP-7512, Bad Bitch Bertha Dino, the baddest bitch out there. Okay. When she's mad, she'll take out her Glock 17 and shoot whoever the <laughs> fuck she wants. And not only that. That he will fucking laser you with alien fucking eyes and explode your fucking head. Thank you. <laughs> when she's it really she pulls out a Glock 17 Mark caliber 2 pistol. How do we contain this beast? <laughs> what what uh, safety precautions are put in place? Isn't it obvious around. you need a stable Wi-Fi connection? <laughs> <laughs> Never let your internet die, otherwise you will be sentenced to death immediately. Arthur, are you ready to take the lead? Yes, I am. All right. So <laughs> <let's> go! <laughs> <laughs> this is a toaster, come on! Oh god, oh fuck, the toaster incident. This is SCP-70457. Uh, it's a Keter-class SCP. Can't even pronounce that right, I've never played the game, shut up. <laughs>
Inanimate in its regular form, with the ability to flip any facility's power circuit and strike when you're at your <laughs> vulnerable. Until it is manually turned back on. He does this by gravitating sachets of barbecue sauce towards his <laughs> and waiting for you to turn them on, apparently uncontained. The subject is a relatively small metal cuboid painted orange, approximately 16.5 centimeters tall, 22 centimeters wide, and 15 centimeters deep, with an engraved imprint across his front side reading K Mix. Tests prove him to be submissive, and some are falsely claimed powerless. It is in. <laughs> <laughs> it is in 70457's best interests to act in this way so as not to raise suspicion in order to drive unknowing people to use him when he has obtained barbecue sauce sachets. If 70457 succeeds in flipping your circuit, you have a head start. 70457 hurts himself when he does this and has a recovery speed of roughly 5 minutes. And he also holds the ability to change shape and colour but only into other rack-based bread heating electrics. Do not repeat, do not mistake 70457 for a real toaster. Due to the possibility of a mass power outage and chain reaction, including breach of zesty source supplies and large civilian loss of life, retrieval of subjects should be considered alpha priority. It can be contained by being stomped on on its quote-unquote nobber noggin. <laughs> Agent Kyle, please, uh, put forth your, uh, All right. your, your investigation. Your, uh, your investigation. Uh, interesting item here. <laughs> I have a fridge like that. <laughs> uh, so, we got, um, item number SCP-5226, object class safe. It's to be contained in a 5x5x3 five by five by meter blast-resistant room. No foodstuffs are allowed near 5226 without explicit permission. Description. SCP-5226 consists of a rusted refrigerator known as 5226-1. Whenever 52262 expires, all the chemical energy within the food is instantly converted to kinetic energy in a process almost identical to detonation. The ratio of the conversion is one to one. For perspective, an M67 fragmentation grenade contains roughly 1,000 kilojoules. McDonald's Big Mac contains 2,000 kilojoules. It's twice as explosive as a fucking grenade. If any foodstuff was spoiled before entering the range, it instantly explodes. I got mad nostalgia vibes. That was exactly how he did his presentation, the getting stabbed in London. Uh. <laughs> its effects were first discovered when a researcher placed a bowl of soup inside and let it sit for 30 minutes, took it out, went to lunch, a way to enjoy his soup. He puts his spoon in and it instantly detonates. The spoon was enlarged in his cranium. Oh, Jesus, all right. Another researcher made a joke that he should go eat a bag. A bag of dicks. Searcher's cock instantly exploded. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, how many kilojoules of force? Okay, uh, now if you would be so kind as to play the log. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're ready. It's gonna be so bad. Here we go. Take it to your cell soon. Just, please, for love of God, just shut up. Do you want me to get a guard to fucking shoot you? Because I can. My <laughs> ears! <laughs> 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 look, look at my camera, I want to show you something really ironic. Brian turned off his camera midway through that, so I had a bitch there. Walk in my room and she was asking me if you could have a fucking, like, a soul. Uh, because yours is explosive, that's really ironic, because it, I actually have an explosive in my fridge. Oh, why would you, why? Oh, it's <laughs> why did you yeah. have that? December last year. Cairo grenade. Oh, oh he's like been fucking marinating. Not that's marinating, like... it's getting stronger. So, <laughs> it's been rusting. Oh, I made a serious one. I didn't know this was going to be a I don't you idiot! Such a good draw. You have the animated <laughs> one? Really good drawing. Wait, look, Adam, can I have money now? Oh, it's I'm really- a, Oh, that's oh, really sick. Really Dude, that's Whoa. sick. I'll, I'll, I'll flash it on the screen here. Look, there it is. Wow, I can see it. It is really cool, yeah. Amazing. All right. <laughs> Bloody- Brilliant. <laughs> Next SCP, this is good. That's good, that's enough. <laughs> that's it? <laughs> that's the explanation. 2.7 meter tall, thin, vaguely humanoid creature oh, that Oh, I fucking get it. That's brilliant. It's fucking brilliant. Read the name of the SCP. What? What? Sound of can, Is he talk? I can't hear him talking. Can you not hear me? Wait, talking. Talking. What's what's you you Wait, what? Are you deaf? <laughs> Have you got him muted on your side? Did you turn him down? <laughs> this is like cringe <laughs> comedy. No, yeah, for a second, I Perfect. thought it was he's called actually, sound He's sounds actually being attacked. We were all fucked. There we go. Sorry, Tyler. Sorry. Uh, there was little to no muscle mass. In place of SCP, the number said is a mid-1920s, uh, wait. Or, what? I have this little effect where I would bleep out and never mind. And the rest is like, it has the funny blocks, the redacted text, and burns easily when exposed to harsh bright lights. Behavioral patterns of SCP-5382 revealed to be extreme, relatively docile in the event of which someone were to rotate the crank located on the right side of the phonographic head. Uh, it enters a state of enragement. The 
Record begins to spin and uh Wait, hold on. Uh, Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck it, eh? I broke his computer. All yours, Mush. The record begins to spin and a scream of 80 decibels emits from the horn. This volume continues to increase as long as the record spin, causing recorded volume surpassing up to decibels. Did you hear it? Did you hear the thing? No, we didn't hear the thing. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> decibels. In Discord. I'm half expecting that device on his desk to just fucking it's, explode it's just in the camera cuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, the homemade taser. Oh, He's yes. Off. I have many of those. I'm gonna have nightmares Thank now, you. like, thinking some food, like, ticking under my bed and it's just gonna go off and explode. This is Ethan's. Rango. Video will be three minutes and 55 seconds. Item SCP-7375. Object class Keto. SCP-7375 oh, is a collection of household items that appear to have undergone a very similar phenomenon. phenomenon. All instances of SCP-7375 have a completely indistinguishable physical appearance from that of regular unaffected household items. An instance of SCP-7375 will also act identically to regular unaffected household items until it has been activated. An instance of SCP-7375 has only been reported to activate when a single human being is alone in the same household as SCP-7375 and the sun has set in the local area. When activated, instances of SCP-7375 are capable of completely unaided movement and have been recorded traveling at speeds up to 25 meters per second or 56 miles per hour. The activated instance of SCP-7375 will attempt to bludgeon the human present at its activation to death. Once an instance of SCP-7375 <laughs> has been activated, it will only deactivate when either it is split into pieces no greater than one centimeter in any dimension, or the human present at its activation is deceased. Upon deactivation, the instance of SCP-7375 will return to the appearance and behaviors of regular unaffected household items. Instances of SCP-7375 are listed below. SCP-7375-1, a purple and yellow colored lava lamp. Deactivated. No. Contained. Yes. SCP-7375-2, a ceramic chicken. Contained. Yes. SCP-7375, item. A DVD case of the animated movie Rango. Deactivated. No. Contained. No. SCP-7375-4, item. A Nintendo King K Rule Amiibo. The actor is yes, the same as yes. <laughs> Get beat to death oh by a fucking God. lava lamp. Ryan, you ready to? Yeah, it's just one thing. Uh, you guys have to familiarize yourself with this video. It's in general. I'm sure we're all familiar with it. Yes, I'm already, I'm already very familiar. Well, first in this lore. So SCP-5976, object class here. <laughs> <laughs> that that so that is the picture that was taken inside the containment facility. That's to be blurred for your safety. SCP-5976 is to be kept within a sealed three meter by three meter by three meter container with three centimeter thick titanium walls fitted with industrial grade loudspeakers at site 78. It's an initial yeah, shit. Upon the initiation of SCP-5976-A event, shall be given a mi minimum of three medium-sized zucchinis. The chamber is to be opened and at least 50 cucumbers or zucchinis are to be placed within. Additionally, the chamber's loudspeakers are to begin to play the song recorded by pop group The Jackson 5 at a suitably <laughs> high volume. Note, the song ABCs and Blame It On The Boogie have proven to be the most effective at the ending of the event. Description, an anomalous organism taking the appearance of either a common garden snail or a giant African land Land snail with an instant to the uh, fuck see incident 5976-1-a event uh, Kieran's audio log this is oh. assistant researcher steak fries beginning experiment log 02 for good. scp 5976 the purpose of this experiment is to determine the effects of using vegetables other than cucumbers or zucchinis to designate an scp 5976 one instance at the moment, a pickle is being placed within the holding chamber. Uh, an SCP-5976 <laughs> so really appears boring. to be I'm beginning. Really sorry. The entity is looking around. It appears to have identified the pickle. It's now making its way toward the pickle. That's that's not right. Wait a minute. No, no, that's we. <laughs> <laughs> we appear to have lost the power. I can no longer see into the chamber before the power went off. I could have sworn I saw the entity. Uh, I, I, I can't describe it. Who's that? <laughs> Show yourself. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. No, I'm, I'm stealing off this room. I'm stealing off the room. Please, please, God, please don't. No, no, no. Please. I think it's gone. I, I can't. I can't hear it anymore. It's. <laughs> <laughs>
This is Doctor. At 0900 hours, approximately hours after beginning surveillance of SCP-5976, the anomaly seems to be more and more agitated the longer I stay. This could be because it either wants food or it just senses my presence. We'll check back in hours. Multiple SCPs have escaped from containment. We lost supplies will be incalculable if the onsite nuke does not go off. This is F5976 not come in contact with the rest of humanity. Absolutely that was that. great. I fucking love that. Luke, the floor's yours. Oh, all right. <clears throat> so this is SCP-8736, more commonly known as the abhorrently useless cutlery set. You might be wondering what abhorrent might be uh, pertaining to. Uh, it doesn't mean anything horrifying. It is a safe class object, completely normal set of cutlery. However, upon use of uh, SCP-8736, you might begin to experience severe headaches, anything pertaining to severe distaste. Being in general vicinity of the cutlery set can cause panic, discomforting emotions. One time, a, uh, a researcher, he was performing an experiment, and unfortunately, upon use of the cutlery, it did not uh, penetrate anything that he was trying to cut it with, that being mushier foods such as mashed potatoes. The spoon didn't even seem to be able to submerge itself in soup. This was so rage-inducing to the researcher that he immediately began throwing the cutlery set across the room, to which the cutlery set bounced off of the wall and directly back to his uh, table, basically taunting him. And the researcher <laughs> was in a flyingly blind rage, and unfortunately he had to be released from the site and put in under psychiatric care. So let me just... Uh go through my notes here. Um, <laughs> these feelings might include a severe homicidal uh, form of tendency, but it's nothing that is severe enough to actually cause you to kill, which is, funnily enough, quite interesting. They started throwing food at each other, using the objects as catapults all over the containment site, which honestly was quite disgusting and messy. No further subjects have been used on testing SCP-8736, and the abhorrently useless cutlery set is to be contained at all times and not to be removed from its containment. I don't know how I'm going to follow that up. Mine's, mine's <coughs> going to be brief. So this is mine. This is SCP-5318008. Nice little trick. If you turn it upside down, it says something very, very unique. It is the dumb jar. The dumb jar. Not to be confused with anything else. Come <laughs> jar. The, no, no. I had to say it, didn't you? I, I, no, that it was, it was suggested. I can't position my camera right. Now, what the dumb jar is, the dumb jar is filled with uh, fermented, gone-off mayonnaise. This mayonnaise oh. is very, very unique. It can mold and shape itself into pretty much anything. Envision Play-Doh. Glunky, gelatinous mayonnaise where it can form actual solid objects. Miss your grandma? Boom. Grandma. In the dumb jar. Big fan of my little pony? I don't want to invasion that. Oh. <laughs> oh. In the dumb jar. Imagine it in the dumb jar. Anyway, thank you. That is my uh, And what happens? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. What happens when um, another liquid is added to the Ooh. jar, per se? Then you just got the dumb jar with more liquid in it, as well as the mayonnaise. Oh, Why does I cover the dumb sock? It says, it says boobies, guys. It says boobies. And Chris, how the fuck do uh, I play double uh, joker poker? I forget. I won, Ryan. Uh, so I can see my family again. I'm just thinking of